What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Broken Age and right now I'm playing Vela's Storyline. This is probably the last part of Vela's Storyline for this first act. And uh, last time you checked in, uh, we did Shay's Storyline up to the where it won't let me continue anymore. Shay is right now passed out on the outside of a spaceship after an attack. Uh, so all we have left to do uh, for this game, for at least Act 1 until Act 2 comes out, is complete Vela's Storyline. What's over here? Where am I going? Oh, nope, I don't actually want to go back up. Is that even possible? Looks like it. Uh-oh. Yep. I kind of destroyed the thing here. That's okay. Let's go back down. Oh, did someone say my name? Who knows? I'm going back down to this house. And uh, there's like this lumberjack looking dude here. And uh, let's see. What the world can I... There's a window. Stained glass window. Ooh. Pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. It's very shiny. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, you broke it. <laughs> Never mind me. Okay. Well, okay. Let me just take a look at this. It's the crystal sun from the lumberjack's window. Still pretty. What is this? Hmm. Firm and pungent. All right. Nice. From the lumberjack's window. It's a lumber. Can I go down the stairs? He's so freaked out. Look at him. Anything else to click? There's an axe here. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. The. <laughs> I just took his axe. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings. Okay. What? <laughs> um. Okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great. Hey. Who are you? <laughs> My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. <laughs> Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny visual. <laughs> like, ah, oh, stop cutting me down. Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal <laughs> instinct, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. <laughs> really over the line top stuff. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Man, I don't care. Here we go. A weapon to kill Mogchathra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. <laughs> uh. Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Oh, I took it. Think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh well, <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think anything could kill Mogchathra. Well, darn. Make me a okay, stool, then. make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Something like that. Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Catch you later, Curtis. <laughs> Where are the trees? Beware the trees. He has a leaky faucet. I'm guessing there's no way to stop it. It's a fireplace, though. Why hey, is it? Here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. Darn it! I thought I found some wood. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. I feel like There's I should steal. get to know that Don't guy steal before it. I steal his art. <laughs> Don't, why would you steal it? Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Why would, why would I want to get to know him? Uh. Hi. Hey, Vela. So you're a woodworker. Could you? What make am I supposed something? to say? Like what? I don't know. Something practical but unique. I've got just the thing. A stool. How about? Okay, yeah, we're repeating ourselves. A nice three-legged stool. All right, all right. Mm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool. Okay, so I understand. Long. We've done this. I'm sorry for the repetition. 
Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh, kind of looks like Shay. Huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? What? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. <laughs> How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Huh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. Yeah, you do. The purpose of art is not decor, man. <laughs> Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. What is it? What's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut? I guess at first glance one might see it that way. All right. Can I get out of here? Where am I supposed to go? There we go. There's the exit over there. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? All right, and all right. When you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see the snake now. Wait, east? Or was it west? Oh, Man. great. Great. He probably messed up. Well, um... I saw some something. Let's see if he has any mail. There's some wood on his windows. Hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Where am I supposed to go? I can't see a thing. Wait, was there a snake? Gosh, she's, she's so slow. Oh, there we go. Now I'm up here. There we go. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Yeah, you trees. Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, is this east? Yeah, I don't know west. how to tell. Oh, gosh. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he hates that sound or he likes it. One of the two. He's like, what is that? <laughs> See a snake. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. <laughs> She's like, can't breathe. Okay. All right, uh, which one of you trees has been messing with Curtis? Is it you, your tree? I don't know. <laughs> There's a tree. What? Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking <laughs> It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> I'll give it a mouth. Here we go. Time for a I mouth. I have a feeling I might regret this. Murderer! Axe wielding psychopath! Right here! <laughs> You'll wake up the other trees! She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! <laughs> okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Whoa, I got. Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sound! <laughs> murderer! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of Curtis the Lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. <laughs> wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce mining her own branches. Then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. <laughs> Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He, 
He butchered her, turned her into a a stool. <laughs> oh God! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my <laughs> brethren. It makes me sick. <laughs> Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans think about? <laughs> Killing? Yes. You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Don't be ashamed. Can I have some of your sap? <laughs> hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. Want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. <laughs> you humans make me want to throw up, but we'll just... I won't do it because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sound. <laughs> just throw up. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe wielding, murderous humans, so get lost. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. <laughs> He's calling me a stump. See ya. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Hello, Shellman. Wow, Shellman. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Shellman looks pretty cool. Look at these birdie birds. I can. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Uh, you look like a mayor. Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people. Another Maiden's for Feast. Now. What do you mean for now? Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. Oh. All right. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had <laughs> hopes, child. Okay. But this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. When is Mog Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. So I guess uh, Mog Chakra is coming here. Better let you get. No, back I, to the I didn't mean to say that. Yes, I didn't mean to click yes. that. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. <laughs> they aren't. I thought that was the point. Marshal Dune. Mm hmm. He's a marshal. Okay, I need to enter the maidens. I need to enter the maidens' feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a maiden's feast. Why not? Don't not smell that me. You have the right scent for it anyway. Oh, what? Are you saying I smell bad? No, heavens, no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. Oh, nice. With a hint of fresh pie. That's well, everywhere I've been. When that dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. <laughs> yeah. That's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she Well, what the heck? My you. grandmother? Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. All right. There has to be a maiden's feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. <laughs> yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. <laughs> when he comes here and sees no offering arena, I said kill. He might pass us by, or worse. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. <laughs> all right. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Jeez. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. <laughs> what? Fancy? But 
I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Well, give it to me. Oh, he is. He gave it to me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Nice. Have to get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe they will. What's that? We have one like that back home for making upside down cakes. What's up? Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Obviously. What do I have to say? I want to be in the maidens feast. Of course you do, poor thing. Poor thing. The shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying. She events. looks hideous. Also, our dad is pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh sure. Oh my god. Yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. <laughs> oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Thanks. Is this the perfume over there? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. <laughs> <It's> irresistible to <laughs> moths. Beast Hooker. <laughs> hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better, but no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's her secret sauce. Secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Yes, Sorry. one little squirt of secret okay, sauce. I'm not gonna give any to my best friend Drusilla. I'm certainly <laughs> Drusilla. not gonna give any to you. What a name! I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Well, I do. Nice costumes. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made you them. guys look like fish. The best fishermen in the village. She has but hooks on her. Good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Hook, line, and sinker. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Such an honor. But guess what? I'm gonna kill Mog Chathra. I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. <laughs> Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. <laughs> you maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chagra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. What did they say he was? Okay. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way to save the town? I mean, um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah. They figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. All right, so they're ciao. not gonna, ciao. They're not gonna give that to me. Oh, there's some fishing pole. What's up here? Let's find out. Probably lots of people to talk to. Whoa, what is this? A sighted stranger approaches. I am a stranger. Not so fast. Whoa, what is that? Darn. All out of holy tear gas. <laughs> they used to shoot me? Oh, yeah. Halt. The dead eye god sees no one. What? Why not? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. <laughs> what is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. Dun dun dun. As if you didn't know. I didn't know. You're right. Can I? I, I want to go inside. inside. You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does. We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. Unless what? Well. If she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Shh. No problem. Um. <laughs> um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out oh of his God. rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after I am dead. 
Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. <laughs> I don't know. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Okay. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? <laughs> you know, it's like kill monsters. <laughs> that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really. We don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Well, all right. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. This is crazy. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. <laughs> they blind oh. yourself? <laughs> what? If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Oh huh. my god, that's crazy. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Anything. Something to read? We're blind. Oh, oh, oh is that, why did I say that? I feel bad. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Maybe a refreshing beverage? No thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet's barnacle juice over here. <laughs> well, hey, what about... can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> thanks. I'll go yeah, fill that up. That up for me if you could. I'll just thanks. go. I'll just go fill this up. Bye. All right. <laughs> Sent you later. Sent you later. All right, so I gotta find something. Probably has to do with like the sap that uh. I think they said something about sweets or something. There's probably like, I, I gotta somehow get sap from a tree. There's some fishing rods here. Who knows what I gotta do. Wait for the tide. These fishing poles are useless. No, they're useless. All the hooks have been stolen. Oh, <laughs> they've been stolen. What is this? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope these seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Yep, they do. Driftwood. Oh, so smooth. Driftwood. Oh my gosh. So that's the wood that that uh, Curtis needs, right? Hey, what's up, man? No. Oh. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Doesn't seem to change. Yeah. Please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Can I show him the driftwood? He's gonna like. This is your friend. Find some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. <laughs> At least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. Oh, well, you know what? It is going to be perverted as soon as I get what is his name Lumberjack Curtis to make a stool out of it. Let's go. Go. Here we go. We're going to run in. Curtis, my man, look at this. I got you some wood. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Doesn't really look that smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? <laughs> a stool. <laughs> I feel a stool coming on. <laughs> Ooh, that's a <laughs> Oh, me man. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Oh, my God. This guy... <laughs> All right, so I got a stool, and now I'm going to show the tree, and maybe he's going to be really offended that the uh, the all natural like whatever, the all natural wood was uh, perversely mutated into a stool. Maybe who knows what he'll actually think. There we go. I'm just getting over there as quickly as I can. Check this out. Look at that. Sorry to do this to you, but. Oh my God. Is that mutilated tree? <laughs> you see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood, 
to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. Jeez, I, I feel evil. Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> wow, it's getting thicker every second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't mess hmm, with it. It's already soaking into the ground. Oh. I have to catch it when it's fresh. All right, here, vomit into this, buddy. Oh, and now you're decorating <laughs> me like a Christmas tree? You'll see. Is there no end to the humiliation? <laughs> I feel evil. Oh my god, I feel so evil talking to this tree like this. Look at this again. You can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> More. I want to I want to I want to keep talking to him. You can still oh, it's the see same the thing. grain okay. of the wood. <laughs> I'm just evil. I'm sorry. Let's get out of here before <laughs> Oh my gosh, so what do I do with that? Who wants it? Who wants this bucket? Was it the uh, the mayor guy or whatever? Hmm. <laughs> I think he wants it, right? Let's go up here. Let me show him the, uh, the bucket. You needed that, right? I forget who needs that. You needed that to keep this... Was it the sand? This will make your sand mixture stick yeah. together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. Nice. At this point, I'd try anything. Well, try this then. It's sap. Oh, what a crazy whistle. Hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will Well, you? so that's not for them. If he's going to use the sap. I well, hope well, you're crap. right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Let's see what happens. Nice. A sand castle. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Don't look. Nice. Now it held up. A sand castle. Looks like we're in business. Well, good. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. How? Let's go talk to the maidens and find out what being in tune means. Time for the talent portion. What's up, maidens? Hey, are you guys good with Yeah, girls? let's see. Maybe they are. Of course we are. Except the kind where there are words that have, like, two meanings. Oh, oh. Yeah, and you think the word means one thing, but it actually means the other thing? Yeah, I hate those. It's not like that, is it? Uh, maybe? Yeah, maybe. What was the, uh... Um, what, can I have her perfume yet? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not I perfume. know, it's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hmm. See you, maiden. What, what if I hit him with like the tear gas thing? Like maybe I can hit him with the tear gas thing. I you. can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Well, what am I supposed to fill it with? Oh my God, that's horrible. So what was their riddle again? I feel like I already abandoned this, like the one sweet thing that I had. They said something sweet. Here we go. Hi. What was the riddle? Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes? There's double meanings. You always take us down. Take us down. When we are in our prime. Okay. Your sweet rewards. Sweet rewards. I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise. Sounds like a tree. Rotten bed. Sounds like a tree. Up from a hidden pit. Long after I am dead. Oh, and I had. You know what? Wait. Oh. Whoa. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Bring us a solution. That sounds like something fell from a tree and made a new tree. Probably. Probably the Bye. peach, because or the pear. Well, yeah, peach. Sent you later. Sent you later. So I actually picked this up before, and now I know what it's all about. Hey, you want this? Check it out. Fruit. No so, thanks. What? These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit with a pit inside. Dun -dun -dun. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? <laughs> oh man. They didn't even know. It's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. Becky Yorn. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Alright, well, uh, they, they didn't even really seem to care about the riddle. Oh my god. Whoa, what is this, like, futuristic thing? Such strange shapes in here. Indeed. I guess this is where they buried their old god. Oh my god. I wonder what that symbol means. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Oh, you know what? I'll just dump it in here. Yeah. Now what? Uh-oh. 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 Da-da-dun. Ah, man. My mouth tastes like death. Ew. Oh, hey. You found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. What? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. Is I this Shay? I of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this. Give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Well, I don't think I found it. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it. <laughs> well, you know, God. So, it sounds cool. Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. Oh my God. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. Is he? Is he Shay? It's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Maybe part of the reason I went into isolation to tell you the truth. Huh. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's whoa. a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I'll tell you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Hmm. Can I help? Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? Nope. No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, nope. there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. <laughs> that was my grandfather, probably. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. Oh, no. I'm going to need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. Okay, uh, what's Laruna? What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. I don't know how to tell if this was even still there. I feel like this could be Shay, What's but he seems do? to have a different voice. This I don't know. This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. Okay. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. The Runa was dying. <sighs> Sounds... The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. So maybe, yeah, maybe that is. I don't know. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe that's the wolf guy. I don't know. How do I know? How can I tell? Um, what? What else do we need to Hi. talk about? Hey. Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts, but if I can get them all, I should be able to get something working. As a weapon? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it a weapon? Ship working, so I can get out of here. I mean, I haven't started on the whole weapon thing yet. <laughs> well, let me know if you have any ideas. I have okay, a lot of weapon ideas. Later. Nuclear uh -huh. bomb. What the heck do I do? Nailed it. Nailed it. Like for real, what am I supposed to do? Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Oh, hey, no. Hey, my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Come on, you, I Sorry. didn't mean to do it. I'll get a new one. Maybe. Uh, don't bother. 
All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Hmm. Well, what about uh, replacing that with this? Does that work? Yeah. Good as Yeah, right. Yeah, just Actually, totally. that's not bad. Oh, really? You even got it in the right slot. Yeah, of course I do. Um. <laughs> the heck? What's this? Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. On second thought, I don't like it there. The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. All right. The bottom socket is empty. Uh, yes, you broke my amplifying cords, remember? I'm okay. going to replace it, I swear. Okay, okay. What, what happens if I replace it with this one? Better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Possibly. I'm kind of crazy, didn't you know? I'm one of the craziest characters here. Nailed it. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? Oh, good. You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! Yay! A death ray! Don't shoot the bird. Don't shoot the bird. Okay, good. And I told Becky, you're so ugly. <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> then how do you know she's <laughs> ugly? Hey, guys. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, that's the god. Okay. The targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. <laughs> 300 years. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Don't do- oh god. Oh no. Yep, like that. Okay, You're killing everything. You're killing everything, Parents, fella. Is that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. Hey. If you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. Well, we shall see. All right, girls, time for the talent portion. Let's practice. Oh, Mog, shine your All right, what does he have to say? Okay. Marshall Dune? Hmm? Those shell maidens won't share their monster bait with me. Please, that's terrible. That's I know. terrible. They won't give me a single drop. No, I mean it's terrible what a terrible <laughs> tale. <laughs> no perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, young lady. All right, all right. All right. Um I need to enter the maiden's I need feast. To enter the maiden's feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one yes. for your help with construction. Yes. Unfortunately, you oh, just come don't on. have the right scent for it, my child. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These All right. maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Maybe these maidens will let me have. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know. Here, can I can I have that yet? Is this your secret stink for attracting Mog Chathra? Uh, it's my grandmother's traditional cocktail of musk, pheromones, and animal sweat. <laughs> and I'm not sharing it with anybody. Well, I don't need it anyway. Daddy says I exude it. Well, I, I could be natural. Oh man! What? What? Why would Mog Chatha? Can I talk to you? Stop, maidens! Hey, can I have some of that Come perfume? Come on! <laughs> That's not perfume. What That's is it? Okay, I know. Known as Beast okay, we've talked about that before. See you well, what do later. I do? Ciao. I still have this. I can shoot them with something. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Well, what are you gonna fill it with? Can you fill it with the perfume? I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser. Why with not? That. Put some emotion into Let's it. fill it with like this Faster. bloody water over here. Oops, didn't work. Is it even possible? Come to me. Oh my god, that is possible. How is that even possible? I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? What in the world should I do with that? I could spray it on them. Maybe then I can just... I don't know. Maybe they won't win. Maybe... Okay, here we go. 
<laughs> Why this one? Oh, come on. <laughs> Are we done? Do I spray both of them? Ugh, gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Uh oh! They're being attacked by birds. Is this about the feathers we took for our <laughs> Possibly. They smell like dead fish. Those seagulls really like the dead fish. That's what they said. Oh wait, can I grab the perfume now? Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea. Yeah. Me. Ow! I exude it naturally. <laughs> she has to save whom she can't. Ow! Wow. About you, oh yeah, tell. T okay, t okay, okay. Now do I spray this on myself? There we go. Oh, now. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh, I imagine. The things that. monsters go for these days. <laughs> the things monsters go for. Well, guess what? I now smell nice and proper and pretty. So. Uh, Marshall Dune? Here we go, Marshall Dune. I need to answer. I'm the sure I smell piece. just fine. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. Yeah. You are in, my girl. Yeah. Thanks to your I totally talked to her. Truly monstrous. A monstrous grandmother who didn't even know what I was all about. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we gentlemen, go. It's showtime. It's showtime. Woo. Time to kill Mog Chathra. <laughs> What to do, girl? I gotta click that button. Oh my god, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. What do I do? He has so many eyes. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, he's coming for me. I probably smell horrible or good. Nope. Goodbye. Oh, that was so quick. I'm the only one left. I dodged it. Nice. This way. Follow me. What? 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 Is that? Can we? Can we use it? Where's this? Attack. I'm here. Alex, get that laser ready. Hit it, dead eye god. Yeah. It's charging back up. Oh man. No, no. Let me escape. Let me escape. Oh god. Oh god. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Oh my god, what happened? Take the shot. No good. Oh man, I missed. This is getting tough. Now. Yeah, I got him. Need to wait. No good. Even his eyes are armor plated. What about his mouth? Maybe I need to get caught again. Yeah. You recognize me, don't you? Yeah, I got away last time. You want me this time? All right, this is ready. Here we go. I'm gonna try to shoot his mouth. My hands are stuck. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. What? Okay. Did I wear those? What's the matter? Afraid I'll kick you again? Get ready to fire that thing, Alex! I'm so confused. Alex, get that laser ready! Fire away! I don't what think do I'm I getting do? That hide. What about the stool? What about the ladder? Anything? That's not going to help me beat Mob Chothra. Well, don't tell me that. What the heck do I do? Uh, Follow me, Mog. Okay, here he comes again. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. What? Okay, uh, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Oh, am I supposed to? So he's grabbing me with his tentacles. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot off his tentacles. Maybe that's what maybe that's what she's saying. I can't reach. I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. All right, so let's blast Get off it. his tentacles. There we go. Gotcha. Now. 
Okay, I get it. I get it. Hit it. Just a slap on the wrist. All right, now he's gonna grab me with one tentacle, and there we go. Now I can blast his mouth or something. I don't know. Open up. The heck. Take the shot. Even its eyes are armor plated. He must have fire away. No good. His mouth is closed. His mouth was open earlier. Take the shot. No good. His mouth is closed. Well, what the heck? Do I just wait for him to open his mouth? Okay. Short things. Okay, sure. Sure. <laughs> That's good. Can surprise you. That was luck. Oh, they have the opens. Whoa. Nice. I was okay. That was luck. Do it. Did I hit his mouth? Oh yeah. Die, you monster. <laughs> Die quick, or we're gonna have a meltdown. Up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we get him? No way. Mog Chathra. It's going down. Wow, he crashed in the water. Well, now what? Oh no, did I get wiped out too? Oh no, are we both just wiped out? Okay, no, we're f I'm fine, I guess, maybe. Did I kill Mog Chathra? Nice. Very awesome. What the heck? What the heck? That's Shay. What? Here we are. Whoa. Is that my spaceship? Is the Mog Chathra my sp the spaceship? Oh my gosh. What? What? It looks like I had no idea the Mog Chathra was my spaceship. But now it looks like the tables have turned. She's on a spaceship and I am outside. So weird. But looks like I finally woke up. Weird, so that could have gone in the other order, I guess. I'm assuming. I bet if I would have uh, played as, uh, as Shay last, what would have probably happened is, you know, during the crash, Oh, they're under attack. We're under attack. Oh my gosh. I just had an epiphany. The creatures I was rescuing were those girls. And I was like, I gotta get one more, just one more. And he's like, and then that, that wolf guy was always like, why do you always care about the last one? And he's like, I just gotta do it. And then, so the previous, oh my God, this is all coming together. The previous one that I was grabbing, that little monster that I was grabbing, that broke away, that was her. And then uh, I was just like, you just gotta you just gotta forget about it. The wolf guy was like, you just gotta forget about it. And then, uh, oh my God. And so I, I left that one behind, but then like we had to go rescue some more people because they were in distress and there was an attack and all that stuff. And you know, I was like, they were like, we gotta go, we gotta go, because we were under attack or whatever. And then he was like, just one more, just one more. And he was like, what's with the last one? You don't have to do this. And so I was like, no, I'm going to get her. And it turns out that I that last one, that final one was Vela. And I was picking her up, and, sh and I got shot, disrupted. The spaceship crashed. I got knocked out. And then it looks like the wh whole spaceship thing was just the interior of the Mog Chothra, which is so weird to think about. That is so weird. So those little creatures that I was rescuing and storing away, so they must be re they must be safe and sound. The girls must be safe. They're stowed away, and uh, they're stowed away in your in that little computer compartment or whatever. And who knows what the wolf is doing here? This is insane. Well, that was the end of Act One. 
It all it all just came crashing down on me at the very last of this. Uh, oh my god. Okay. So anyway, so now that we know what's going on, um, it, it seemed like the uh, the, the Shay storyline was definitely shorter, more interesting to me for sure. But now that I know exactly what's going on and how they're connected, that's even crazier. Uh, my god, I can't believe it. So this whole time, I have been like controlling Mog Chathra, and it looked like a weird simulation or something. I don't know. I, I still feel like this entire spaceship was just, I mean, we weren't really ever just like under attack, quote unquote. It was just, wow. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what the wolf guy Merrick has to do with it. Uh, I don't know exactly what, uh, wow, what the, what the other guy, the guy, the guy I just rescued, that god guy who was in like a spaceship. I don't know what his deal was. I haven't quite figured that one out. I haven't had enough time to think about it yet. But this is just, um, okay, so I think it's all coming together. Or for the most part, I'll probably do a little bit of research on my own. Let's discuss it in the comments. Um, I wish I would have backed this. I really wish I would have backed this on Kickstarter when it first happened. There's like a huge list here. Um, I, I just, I, I wasn't too much into Kickstarter that much. I, I, I had backed some projects, but I hadn't really followed games so closely. Uh, this is a huge list of backers. Oh my gosh, we're gonna go. We're gonna scroll through this super quick, right? No, we're probably not. We're still in the A's. So anyway, um, man, I should uh, I should have backed it. I could have my name in here. I could have showed you guys that I backed it, but I didn't back it. I I tried. I backed a handful of games. Some of them haven't even come into fruition yet. But uh, man, okay, yeah, we're still in the A's. Anyway, well, guys, thanks so much for watching me play. Uh, uh, Broken Age. That was cool how, how it all came together. This is a really interesting game. I can't wait for Act 2. I don't know how long it is until Act 2 comes out. I think it comes out in spring, if I had to guess, uh, based on what I read. I don't know, but I really enjoyed this game. I love adventure games. Uh, I, I, I really like the humor in this and just how cool it was, you know? So, uh, anyway, well, we are going to, uh, we're gonna go in the seas. Yeah, we are, I don't think, man. I don't know that we're gonna get past this. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is so funny. Like, oh, some of these names are funny. They're definitely some of them are customized, like Christopher Jelly Soup Marsh. Uh, some of them have like little CJ Buttlust. <laughs> That's a name. <laughs> All right, we're in the D's now. Some of these are crazy. Damon Bad Taste O'Keefe. Daniel Nerdcube Hardcastle, there's someone right there. See, I could have backed it and had my name in here and everything. I just didn't do it. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Anyway, David, Super Dave, Greaser, Grazer, I don't know. Why am I reading these? I don't know. Anyway, there's still a lot to think about, but that is really cool. Obviously, Shay didn't realize what he was doing. He thought he was rescuing people. Maybe the wolf was just like, uh, maybe the wolf was like knew what was going on. Who knows what the wolf knew? I don't even know what the wolf knew. Uh, but man, uh, now that I'm out of my spaceship, which seemed to be, even the outer space surrounding my ship seemed to take place inside Moth Chathra, which is, uh, which is just insane to think about. Try, try to wrap your head around that. And, uh, I'm trying to think of the connection from her, her point of view. I mean, I wonder, yeah, who knows how long they've been around. Project Dandelion. What would that have to do? Anyway, well, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Come back next time when Act 2 comes out. I'll continue playing Broken Age all the way through, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching, and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.